So you want to buy a land and you are thinking whether to buy in an estate or to buy land outside an estate that is a community land or to buy from those that have, have already bought from the community. I'm going to be helping you with that decision in this video. So watch this video till the end and by the end of this video you will come to a better conclusion whether it is best for you to buy inside of an estate or to buy outside of an estate but watch this video till the end and you are going to make an informed decision about the one that will be best for you if you're meeting me for the first time my name is chris Asita. please do well to subscribe to our channel click on the bell notification so you'll be notified when we post new videos and also do well to give this video a thumbs up now what are the pros and cons of buying land outside of an estate or buying in an estate i'm going to be starting with buying land outside an estate the first advantage the first thing you're going to gain if you're buying land outside of an estate is that you're going to enjoy freedom and flexibility which is not the same if you're buying land inside an estate if you're buying land outside of an estate you have the freedom to build whatever you want to build you can design your house whatever way you want to design your house if you are building outside of an estate you can choose whether to build a bungalow or whether you have to build a duplex also in some estates they are going to give you some restriction that if you are building a house in this estate the color of your roof must be this color and you cannot go against that rule but if you are building outside of an estate you can decide to make your roof whatever color that is best for you but it is not the same thing inside an estate in an estate they are going to give you the design of what you are going to build and you are going to follow the external modification of that building while you can modify the interior but it is not the same when you are buying outside of an estate because you have the freedom to do what you want to do also in an estate they can restrict you and say that if you are building in this estate you cannot exceed more than one floor you cannot go beyond one story building but if you are building outside of an estate even if you want to build a skyscraper nobody is stopping you you can build whatever you want to build on your land and nobody is going to restrict you to the number of floors another thing is that if you are building outside of an estate you can decide after building you can decide to build a shop outside of your house but it is not the same thing in most estates in most estates they are going to tell you that if that portion that you bought is not designated for commercial purpose you cannot do commercial activities in that land but outside of an estate you don't have all of that restriction so if you're buying outside of an estate you have the flexibility you have the freedom to do anything you want to do on your land but if you're buying inside of an estate you don't have this freedom and flexibility another advantage of buying land outside of an estate is the fact that if you're buying land outside of an estate the lands are usually cheaper than lands that are inside an estate if you're buying from the community or you're buying from somebody that have already bought from the community you notice that their lands are usually cheaper than a state land so if maybe you are looking for cheap lands community land is usually cheaper than a state land now what are the disadvantage of buying land outside of an estate the first disadvantage of buying land outside of an estate is the fact that if you buy land outside of an estate the security of your land is not guaranteed in port Harcourt, one person can sell a parcel of land to five different persons and the five people will begin to fight themselves for just a parcel of land but if you're buying inside of an estate that is almost not possible i'm not saying that it is impossible but the possibility is very very slim so if you're buying outside of an estate you can lose that property because a person that sold to you can sell to another person another disadvantage of buying outside of an estate is the fact that people can encroach into your land especially if you are not around so if maybe you are not around if you're not in nigeria you're in the diaspora and you buy land outside of an estate and you didn't fence it you may come there one day and you will see that they have already taken half of your land because people are most likely to encroach into your land another thing is that if you're buying land that is outside of an estate the chances of buying a land that is under government acquisition is very very high 
but if you're buying inside of an estate the estate must have done their due diligence they must have confirmed that the land that they are selling to you is not under government acquisition before they sell so if you're buying outside of an estate there is every chance that you can buy land that is still under government acquisition now let's go over to land that is inside an estate the first thing you stand to gain if you buy a land that is inside an estate is the fact that land that is inside an estate appreciate higher than land that is outside an estate for example if a land that is inside an estate is selling for 10 million naira, land that is outside an estate can be selling for 3 million naira or 5 million naira in portacot here we have an example of an estate in portacot we have an estate in portacot that is called naf harmony estate as i speak to you right now a plot of land in a lose where Nav Harmony Estate is located is selling for around 25 million naira per plot. But inside Nav Harmony Estate, a plot of land is selling for around 90 million naira as I speak to you. Nav Harmony Estate is inside a lose and a plot of land in a lose is selling for 25 million. Why a plot of land in Nav Harmony Estate that is still in that same lose is selling for as much as 90 million naira? So land that is inside an estate appreciate higher than land that is outside an estate. Now why is it that land that is inside an estate appreciate higher than land that is outside of an estate? The first reason is the fact that land that is inside an estate, there is more demand for land that is inside an estate, more than the land that is outside of an estate. Another thing is that real estate companies that own those estates, they have a lot of marketers that market their products. So, they sell faster and as they sell faster the land will keep appreciating as they sell also real estate company that owns some of this estate they always develop their land and whenever they develop the land they add value to the land the land will keep appreciating which is not the same with land that is outside an estate the next is ease of payment when you're buying a land that is inside an estate you have the flexibility to spread your payment for like one year time which is not the same if you're buying land outside an estate so buying land inside an estate it makes it possible for people that don't really have the money to pay in bulk to purchase land inside an estate but it is not the same for land that is outside of an estate if you're buying land outside an estate the highest the seller can give to you is they can give you an option to pay two times which is very very rare but if you are buying inside of estate, they can give you a payment plan where you can spread your payment within a period of one year or even two years. So this payment plan is one thing that have made it very easy for more people to be able to afford land inside an estate. The next advantage of buying from an estate is that if you are buying inside an estate, you enjoy security, both your personal security and security of your property. That is why if you come to Portacot, you notice that most of these rich men they are living in an estate they live in places like gulf estates nav harmony estate why because they know that if they are living in that place they are very very secured because the truth of the matter is that even if they are living in gra they can be kidnapped here but no matter your level of criminality no matter the level of kidnapping you cannot penetrate Gulf Estate or Nav Harmony Estate. It is not possible. So most of these rich men, they go to places where they know that they are safe and they are secured. So that is why they go for estate instead of buying outside an estate. Although they buy outside of an estate, they can enjoy the flexibility of building their mansion the way they want. But then they are not secured if they are outside an estate. But if they are inside an estate, they are secured because criminals cannot penetrate that estate to kidnap them also if you're buying inside of an estate nobody can sell your land you cannot wake up one day and they tell you that someone has sold your land it is not possible inside of estate because before anybody can sell a property inside of an estate the estate management company must be aware and if the person that is selling is not the owner that transaction cannot hold so if you're buying inside of an estate you enjoy personal security and security of your property the next advantage of buying from an estate is that if you're buying from an estate you are not going to face harassment from doubt when you are building your property in portacot theater it is a very very messy thing if you see people that are building their houses if you see the way they get harassed frequently by doubt you are going to pity them 
if you want if you want to fence your property they will come for fencing permit if you want to do one or two things they are always coming for revenue they, they will demand for this today tomorrow they will demand for the next one but if you are buying from an estate the real estate company when they are acquiring that they have they will do all the papers and nobody will harass you if you are building your property inside an estate i think to me this is one of my favorite because if maybe per adventure you have a deadline to build a particular house if you're building outside of an estate because of doubt and all these people that are coming for revenue you may not be able to meet up with that deadline because if they come to your side they will harass you they will take all your tools and your working equipment they will take it to their office but if you are working inside of the estate and you have a deadline you can meet up with your deadline because no doubt or any revenue collector is coming to disturb your work the next advantage of buying from an estate is the fact that if you're buying from an estate the documentation process is very very seamless most times the real estate companies they are the ones that handles the documentation but if you're buying outside an estate you will be the one to handle your documentation and most times it is very very stressful and it will take a lot of time but it is not the same when you are buying inside an estate because if you are buying inside of an estate they will be the one to handle the documentation on your behalf now what are the disadvantages of buying from an estate the first disadvantage of buying from an estate is the fact that if you buy from a real estate company that is not genuine you may stand the chance of losing your money that is the first disadvantage so when you are buying from an estate make sure you are buying from a genuine real estate company the second disadvantage of buying from an estate is the fact that if you buy from an estate especially if the estate is not in a developed place they cannot allocate to you immediately so if you want to start building immediately that might not be possible because real estate company most and they like doing general allocation so if you are buying from an estate and you want to start building immediately and the time for the general allocation have not come you may not be able to do that so these are the two disadvantages of buying from an estate so here you have it these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of buying outside of an estate and buying in an estate but this is my advice to you if you know that you are not ready to build or if you know that you are not around or maybe you are in the diaspora it is more advisable if you buy from an estate why because even in the next 10 years or in the next 20 years you are certain that your land will be there waiting for you but then buy from a reputable real estate company because if you don't you might end up losing your money so it is up to you now to choose whether to buy from an estate or to buy outside an estate the ball is in your court to choose if you have gotten value from this video please do well to subscribe to our channel click on the bell notification so that you'll be notified when we post new videos and also do well to give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend this video to other people to watch so they can get the same value that you have gotten from this video till i come your way next time my name is chris asika